nouns are words which are used in place of nouns to avoid repetition. Now let us read these two sentences. I have a friend, she plays the flute. Now we can combine both these sentences and write a single sentence as I have a friend who plays the flute. So what have we actually done here? The first sentence, I have a friend, stays as it is. And then we have replaced she with who and then written the rest of the second sentence, plays the flute. So what have we done here? Here we have replaced the subject pronoun of the second sentence with the word who. Now who is referring to the noun placed right before it, friend. So who is a pronoun and it is replacing the subject pronoun and these kind of pronouns are known as relative pronouns. So what is a relative pronoun? A relative pronoun refers to or relates to a noun that is placed just before it. It also joins to sentences. Who, whose, whom, which, that are examples of relative pronouns. Now let us read these two sentences. The man is a writer. We met him at the bookshop yesterday. Now we can join both these sentences and write a single sentence as the man whom we met at the bookshop yesterday is a writer. So what have we done here? Let us now see. The man is a writer is our first sentence. Now in our new sentence, the man is a writer is written. Now the second sentence, what have we done? We have replaced him with whom, we have put whom first and then written the rest of the sentence, met at the bookshop yesterday. So what have we actually done? Here we have replaced the object pronoun him with the relative pronoun whom. So let us now see what is the difference or the similarity between the relative pronoun whom and who. Now we use the relative pronoun whom when we want to refer to a person or to people. We never use it to refer to things or places. Similarly, we use the relative pronoun who when we want to refer to a person or people and we never use it to refer to things or places. Whom replaces the object nouns or pronouns, whereas who replaces the subject nouns or pronouns. The relative pronoun whom is usually used with a preposition like with, to, for or about. This is the tree house. Dad helped me build it. Now we can join both these sentences by using a relative pronoun and write a single sentence as this is the tree house that dad helped me build. So we have used the relative pronoun that here. Now remember that is used for both living and non-living things. Bring me the pen. The pen has red ink. Now we can join both these sentences with the relative pronoun and write a new sentence as bring me the pen which has red ink. Remember which can be used for animals or non-living things and is never used for people. So what are the relative pronouns which and that used for? Now the relative pronoun which is used for animals or non-living things and are never used for people whereas the relative pronoun that can be used for both living and non-living things which introduces a non-essential information whereas that introduces an essential information. The meaning of the sentence is changed if omitted which 
is used with or without commas and that is never used with commas. For example, the cafe, comma, which is at the corner, comma, is always open. But if we write this sentence using the relative pronoun that, we will write it as the cafe that is at the corner is always open. Notice we have not used any comma in this sentence. Drew is a genius. Her books are bestsellers. Now we can join both these sentences using a relative pronoun and write a single sentence as Drew whose books are bestsellers is a genius. So we have used the relative pronoun whose here. Now remember that whose expresses possession and replaces possessive adjective. Her books have been replaced by whose books? Now that you have learned what are relative pronouns, let us do this exercise. Join the sentences with the help of a relative pronoun. The students asked for signed copies of the book. The book was written by the teacher. So how will we join both these sentences? We will join them as the students asked for signed copies of the book that was written by the teacher. So the relative pronoun that is referring to the noun book just before it. Now note that you could have also written this sentence using the relative pronoun which. So if you would have written the students asked for signed copies of the book which was written by the teacher that would also be correct. So what did we learn today? Today we have learned about a special kind of pronoun known as the relative pronoun. Relative pronouns refer to the nouns just before it and they also help to join two sentences. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.